Uh, hello, we uh, presented today at a HFA late breaking session our findings on diabetes and obesity uh, from the beta blockers in heart failure collaborative group. Uh, this is a big international group um, and we have access to individual patient data um, from a number of different randomized control trials um, that uh, investigated the use of beta blockers uh, versus placebo um, in patients with heart failure. And this is, in this analysis, we looked at data from nine of these trials that had information on both diabetes and obesity. Um, and we looked at both the prognostic effects of these conditions within heart failure, um, as well as the effect the beta blockers have um, in comparison to placebo. Um, some important features about this study were that um, uh, this is individual patient data from all these trials. So we were able to go back and, uh, and really get um, high quality data um, from these double blind randomized trials. Um, and the um, other important issue um, is that uh, these trials show um, very clearly that um, diabetic patients have um, worse prognosis in the context of heart failure than patients without diabetes. But also this interaction of the obesity paradox which has been noted before where obese patients seem to do less, less um, badly as those who have are not obese. Um, our data suggests that um, uh, the effect of beta blockers uh, is significant um, and is substantial in patients both with and without diabetes. So there was about a 30% reduction uh, in death in patients uh, without diabetes and around 20% reduction in death in patients with diabetes. Um, there was an attenuation in that effect, but our study suggests that most of that attenuation was most likely due um, to obesity. Um, obesity in the heart failure patients was a problem because we noticed that the efficacy of beta blockers was much less in those patients. Um, and so our combined analysis makes a few important points. Firstly, that um, uh, clinical practitioners should ensure that patients with and without diabetes receive beta blockers as part of their heart failure management. Uh, but also that those group of patients with um, obesity um, need a lot more study for us to understand the interactions between diabetes and obesity in the context of patients uh, with heart failure. Thank you.